Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of BMW E90 HQ. And today, well, I already recorded this intro, but it didn't format properly or something, so I couldn't use it. And uh, so what I did today was I removed the engine cover on my car just uh, to get down there and look at the coil packs and spark plugs and make sure, you know, also to see the valve gasket cover because I did an inspection on it in a previous video but I kind of wasn't sure about it so I wanted to get the engine cover out of the way and have a look at it and uh, I actually just left the cover off because I'm going to be changing the spark plugs uh, real soon and you know it's only there to keep the uh, engine clean and it really didn't do a very good job of it so yeah so today I'm going to be showing you how to access the engine in the N52 get past all the stuff that's in the way and get down to the coils and spark plugs so yeah let's get into it okay so the cabin air filter is out now Next thing is this uh, little sensor. I don't even know what it what it's for here, to be honest. But it just lines up with these tabs, pops out, and then it's held in by little clips here, and just kind of just pull out. Uh, I don't think I recorded that, but they just they pull out these little. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Like they just clip onto these little tabs, pull right out. And I'll have to just wrap this one back around. Uh, they're just kind of tied on by this little fabric. So if they come apart, you know, just tie it back on. Next, this uh, harness here is going to come out. So it's just held in by tabs. So you can kind of see in there, just kind of, well, I might need both hands for it. But you just kind of pull it down and out, and uh, it should come towards you. So it'll just slide down and out like that, and when you want to put it back in, you'll just kind of line them up like that and go back. But I don't want to put it back in right now, so. Okay, so the next thing is this uh, tray has to come out. So what you're going to need to do is get these little things out. So they're held in by a clip on each side, so it's not... All right, and then that will unveil these. Let's see, these little uh, bolts—they look like eight millimeters, just like what holds the cabin filter down. That would make sense. So we'll remove those, and then this whole uh, tray should just slide on out. Once you've unbolted the two eight millimeter bolts, one on each side, there are these little plastic tabs here that hold—they hold in right there and just pull them free and then lift up and underneath here when you pull this off I missed this when I started there's a hose back here and it's just held in by these three clips just undo that and then the tray comes free now you have complete and total access to the engine bay so just for simplicity's sake well, I guess that just has to I guess that just has to sit there but uh, anyway, it looks like we're just held in by some Allen keys, so I'll get this out of the way. We'll see what's underneath here. I'm using a 3 16th. Uh, I imagine that it's actually supposed to be a metric size, but my only set is standard, and it's a perfect fit, so I don't know what if uh, 3 16th is equal to something in metric, or if it actually is a standard size. But there is one, two three bolts it looks like that is that it no, any on the sides looks like it's just three bolts so I will get this out the way there's a fourth bolt down here I didn't see so there's actually four holding this down I got the three out tried to pull it and I was kind of like what like what's holding this thing down still but uh, yeah so fourth one right there so uh, should be the same size as the other three and uh, yep so this is what the N52 motor actually looks like so it's pretty dirty under here I'm gonna clean this up while I'm in here and uh, yeah I mean so the valve gasket now I can actually get a good look at it and it looks good it doesn't look bad so that's a nice peace of mind to have but I'm gonna clean this up nice Ooh, there's some oil in there though I don't know how that managed to get there really oily right there all right um how about three three looks all right 
four looks to be okay. Five and six, they all look good. Two's got a bunch of oil around it though. On the outside though. I guess it's better than it being on the inside. Do I have like a leaky oil cap or something? A lot of crap around here. I don't know, I'll clean this up and try to figure it out. Well, I cleaned it up and it looked closer and I can't really determine the source of that oil. Like, it was barely any. I'm wondering if maybe last time they changed the oil it just spilled because that doesn't make any sense for a valve gasket cover problem to leak into only one quarter of a uh, whatever that little chamber is around the coil and uh, there's nothing in the coils. I pulled two of them just to check. The coils actually look brand new, uh, but they're not dated new, but they, they look to be in mint condition. I mean, a visual check, they turned out all good. I didn't pull the plugs because I don't have the tool to do it with me. But, yeah, so the steps to just put it back together are same in reverse. I'm gonna leave the cover off, and uh, I'm taking it to, the, uh, to BMW on Monday. So I'm going to uh, ask them if there's any reason that could have happened or if it's just spilled oil. As, uh, I'm leaning to spilled oil because cylinders one and two look fine. And uh, definitely the valve gasket cover on this car has been changed. Uh, the gasket on this is, is almost brand new uh, for the Valtronic motor. The uh, eccentric looks to be like it could stand to be done, but uh, it's not. It's just engine dirt as far as I can tell. I mean, looks alright. Anyway, I, I feel much better about it after having a, a good look at it. I'm still going to do the plugs. I think, uh, I think I'm going to leave the coil packs alone though. I think I'm just going to buy the plugs because they, they look to be in good condition. Uh, they pass all visual tests. Um, they all have the same date on them. It's not like one of them's been changed and, and none of the others have. So I, I'm feeling good about it. I think the car's in pretty good shape. Uh, I feel much better after having done this. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. This is exactly how you would get to your coil pack, spark plugs, and uh, to pretty much everything that's in the engine of the M52. So uh, if you found this video informative, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and uh, you know, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.